In Romans chapter 12, verses 1, Paul the Apostle says these words. He says, I plead with you, therefore, brethren, by the mercies of God, that you present your bodies a living sacrifice, holy and acceptable to God, which is your reasonable service. Verse 2, And do not be conformed to this world, but be transformed by the renewing of your mind, that you may prove what is that good and acceptable and perfect will of God. Now, even though we are in this world, the Bible teaches us that you and I, we are not of this world if, you, if we have come under the banner and the authority of Jesus Christ. As believers, we have been sent by God to the earth as an ambassador of heaven. And as an ambassador, we have what the Bible says, delegated power to act on behalf of our King, Jesus. On the earth, we are representatives of His establishing his kingdom. You see, just like Jesus came representing the Father, you and I come representing Jesus in everything that he is. But there is one thing that is a must after salvation for those of us who come representing his kingdom. The Bible says here in the book of Romans, Paul says, we must change the way we think, speak, and believe. Because unless you change those three areas of your life, even though you may be saved, there will be no significant change. You see, the potential, the power, and the authority that resides on you will always remain dormant if you don't change those three areas of your life. And sadly enough, there's a lot of believers who are walking around on this earth with the power of God lying dormant in them because they have refused to reprogram their minds with the Word of God. Many believers get into this what I call comfortable Christianity. They get comfortable in their walk with God. I like to call it they get a sense of comfortable Christianity syndrome where they become satisfied with where they are at in life and they don't feel the necessity to push forward into the things of God. People want to walk in victory. They want to walk in health. They want to walk in abundance. They want to walk in everything that God has for them, but they don't want to do what it takes to walk in those benefits. You see, many want the good of the land, according to Isaiah. But the Bible says you must be willing and you must be obedient if you want to eat the good of the land. The truth is many have never been taught, though, that if they will only get into the Word of God and get the Word of God in them and allow their minds to be transformed, then they can walk and experience a realm of unlimited possibilities where they will never know or experience defeat. Listen, don't be that believer who gets saved and remains stuck in the rest of his or her walk with the Lord. But be the one that pushes through every obstacle. Be the one who refuses to give up and throw in the towel. Be the one who will strive to be everything that God has called him to be. Be the one who will make a difference. Don't be a copy of this world. Don't even be a carbon copy of your favorite preacher. You know, my preacher, my pastor a while back was preaching, and this is what he said when he was speaking to a group of Bible college students. He said, don't be a copy of someone else. Being a copy of someone else is lazy work. Do the hard work and be the person that God has called you to be. Don't do what you've seen, he said, but do what you have never seen before. And you know why I said that? Because we have a generation of young people saying, if I can only be like him, if I can only preach like him, if I can only shout like him and dress like him and walk like him, then I've got it made. But honestly, my friend, all, it, all you've made is a cheap carbon copy of someone else that will only take you so far. See, one of the greatest lessons I've learned from my mentor over the years is be who God created you to be. Be you. And like Paul, model yourself and your ministry after Christ. If there's anyone you're going to strive to be like, strive to be like Christ. Be like Jesus. Fill your mind and your spirit with the Word of God. Be a copy of Jesus here on the earth who possesses the power to heal the sick, to cast out devils, and raise the dead. Don't live your life in such a way to see how close you can be like the people of this world and still remain saved, but rather see how close can you be like Jesus and still be walking around this planet. And I believe that degree of living only comes by being transformed by the renewing of your mind with the Word of God. You see, it can be easy to talk, think, and act like everybody else. But the Bible says that we have been set apart to be different. And let me say this. 
We are not only different from unbelievers, but we are also different from other believers too. Let me say it like this. If God wanted two Smith Wigglesworths, then he would have created two Smith Wigglesworths. But the fact is he didn't. He created one Smith Wigglesworth. Now, we may carry the same spirit, but we are all different people with different personalities that will reach different groups of people. And that's biblical, what I just told you. The Bible says that Paul reached the Gentiles while Peter had the special charge of reaching the Jews. But regardless of who God has called us to reach, we have all been set apart to be a light in the middle of a dark world to give people hope. And as tempting as it may be, my friend, don't give in to the peer pressures of this world to be like them or to be like other people. Don't allow the world to influence your behavior and your thoughts. But as you renew your mind daily to be more like Jesus, I believe God will expand your reach to not only influence people, but to also influence regions and nations where you walk in a level of power and authority where nothing you hear or see will ever sway you from God.